All right, so here we go. First question. What is it that you like about Splatoon 3 in general? Now, this is an interesting one, because similar to what I think is the case for many people, I never played a shooter before Splatoon. But when I saw footage of this game for the first time, which then back in 2015, I just loved the movement options that you provide yourself with through the ink that you shoot. And so seeing them push the limit even further today in Splatoon 3 with things like Skechers, it's just a really fun game. Especially from a competitive point of view, where I feel the developers are generally pretty clever about what they do in this game, not just in movement, but everything when it comes to gameplay. Admittedly, it was somewhat of a gamble, because back in Splatoon 1 I didn't even have a Wii U, so it wasn't a simple choice of just getting a game. But I think it's fair to say that was a wise call back then. I like Splatoon is the character design. インクリングやシャケのデザインが非常にユニークで可愛いと思います。でもそれ以上に好きなのはアクションの気持ちよさですかね。地面に広がったインクの質感やインクの中を泳ぐ音にリアリティがあるので、アバターを動かしているだけで
僕はサーモンランが好きなので暇があるとついつい遊んでしまいますそうやって何度も遊んでいるうちにちょっとずつ上手くなっていくことができるんじゃないでしょうか I think that being comfortable with all weapons, knowing weapon strength and weaknesses in a given weapon composition, and knowing advanced strategies for each wave type is going to help a lot if you're aiming to get good scores. But these strategies also increase the difficulty of the shifts we play,、um, especially during bosses. So, personally, I'd recommend be becoming consistent at winning before trying to push for higher scores. Waves only last 100 seconds, and all optimizations that can be done to reduce time losses will add up in the long run. Experience and knowledge. I've been playing Salmon One for five years. The first two years, I played it casually for a daily reward. The rest was spent on getting better at it. I've tried many things and seen many things. For someone to reach a higher level, just playing a lot and expecting yourself to get better is not that effective. You need to be able to criticize yourself, find flaws and success in your own gameplay so you know what to stop doing and what to continue doing. Improvement is a long process, so developing a positive mindset is important for sustainability. There's a lot to it, but there's one thing I want to mention. While improving, you might see what other people are doing and compare your own achievements to theirs. You might even feel discouraged that others are doing better than you. That sort of comparison is unfair because everyone has different experiences and different circumstances. If you ever encounter this, try not to worry too much about others and focus on yourself. I recommend researching about mindset online. There may be some eye opening revelations. What kind of preparation went into the run we saw in the video today? What did you do and how long did it take? The most preparation we did for the run comes from the years we spent on this mode before, as well as the weeks of Splatoon 3 trying to understand these new crazy changes. To put some more into words, like from our time in Splatoon 2, we already have a foundation built on the game of stuff like how bosses behave, what optimal ways to get eggs in the basket. Now, obviously, a lot has changed for this in Splatoon 3, but we just took what we knew about Splatoon 2. Through it as Platoon 3, see what happens and readjust it as necessary. Such as, is there any behavior in bosses that we know that changed, and how do these new bosses and mechanics potentially change that? Not to mention looking into how we ultimately play these new night waves like the Mouse. In this session, I didn't have to do any training or training. I didn't have to do any training or training. I didn't have to do any training or training. I didn't have to do any training or training. I didn't have to do any training. ただ恥ずかしながら僕は英語をほとんど話せないのでボイスチャットのために英語をちょっとだけ勉強しました I played a lot of the rotation before the run as I usually try to do on rotations with random weapons I reached 999 before this run which is the maximum rank for executive and I played without the squad with the intent of getting high scores I was free for the entire rotation so I played for around 10 hours on the day before the run This run is the culmination of everything I've learned and practiced for the last five years. There are many different scenarios that can happen in a single wave, so experiencing many of them in previous runs helped me with making decisions and predicting what could happen in the next few seconds. What did you think about the run itself overall? Any unusual successes? Any major mistakes? As a whole, I'm pretty happy with the run. There were of course plenty of minor mistakes here and there, such as early goalie kills or the mouth mouth kills could have been a bit faster too, but nothing really had a major impact on the X score, I would say. I think 241 is something to be glad with. To put it somewhat into perspective, in Splatoon 2 my highest X score I ever got was 239, something very little people ever surpassed, and even that was a record that stood for two years. So already baking that number in Splatoon 3 in less than two months is something I'm very happy with. But more importantly, I think it really does to show how much more the limit of this mode can be pushed still. If I have to speak for myself here, there's a lot that I can learn, which you can clearly see in some of the other games we had that didn't go as well. For example, you can see in my case that I'm still misjudging my survival chances in this new and admittedly more deadly <laughs> version of Samurai. <laughs> and it's these exact deaths that cause some of the other games to not go as well. So while I'm glad with the score we got in this particular run, it's clear that there's a lot in this game that can be improved still, which is what I'm really looking forward to. Generally, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. 
特にウェーブ3の最後に玉拾いを倒す決断ができなかったのは心残りですね僕は今回のチームメイトのような強いプレイヤーと遊ぶときに決断力が鈍る傾向があるので直したいですねウェーブ2はほとんど完璧に動けたと思いますはい。I think the one was solid. The luck that is needed to get these waves in the same shift is abnormal, but thanks to our experience, we were able to make the most of it and get this huge score. There were a few minor mistakes I made that could have increased the score slightly, but other than that, I think I did well. Everyone played well. Is there anything else you would like to share with the audience?、Uh, yeah, if you're playing Rush and your team is all fine, they're all doing well, they're alive,、uh, please don't go hang on the wall. They really need your help and they very much appreciate it. So please don't do that. Thank you. In Japan, there are a lot of great players in Farmon Land. If you are interested, please look at YouTube and Twitter. There are many ways to enjoy Salmon Rain and Splatoon in general. And I also play Salmon Rain in other ways that do not involve high schools, such as playing solo friends. I think playing with various players and in various ways makes it fun to improve as a player, and it's always nice to meet new players through the game. Salmon Rain may be seen as a side mode, but it actually has a lot of depth. There's always something to learn. At the beginning, the amount of things to learn may be overwhelming. But feel free to take your time and focus on the things that you're interested in. Where can people find you? You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch under Brian the Drummer. However, it's worth mentioning that in the case of Twitter, that is spelled with a single M, because, much to my own surprise, someone took this name right before me. Of course, it's also an account that hasn't tweeted anything, but well, that's how it goes sometimes. This guy took it before me, and that's why there's now a single M on Twitter. But yeah, assuming you're not looking on Twitter, it's with double M. But yeah. As always, thank you as well, s k i s c h o o l so much for having us, and it was a pleasure to be able to do this game with these people as well. So, thank you all. I'm a Twitter and YouTube account. 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 I have a YouTube account where I upload Salmon Run records and Twitch arcades. And I stream on Twitch as well. I have a Twitter where I post Salmon Run content at r e i k o d i s c o My Twitch is r e i k o d i s c o where I stream overfishing. And I have two YouTube channels. The first is r e i k o where I post Salmon Run score highlights. And the second, r e i k o 2, where I post full sessions that I stream.